branch of the Institute of Child Funds of India at Dule here. My compliments and congratulations to all the members of the Dule branch for this colorful function, the colorful bouquets what you see here, the galaxy of Central Council members, Regional Council members, our guest C. Arun Bhai Gujarati, and of course, a large audience of members, students, distinguished invitees, and all the uh, members of the press present here. Friends, I deem it a fortune to be amongst you this afternoon, and as Zavre Saab rightly said, I was in two minds whether I should come or not. Then it was Praful who said, Raghuji, you have to come, there's no choice. Dule is my place and you have to be there for the inauguration of the branch. That is when I decided, yes, I should pack my bags. I just flew down to Bangalore, just changed my bags and just came here to Pune yesterday morning. And it's been a very pleasant journey for me, coming along with Mr. Zavre Saab, Mr. Praful, right from Pune. We inaugurated the branch at Satara yesterday. Today we are here amongst you. Such a colorful occasion, we have the blessings of Goddess Saraswati. We have the blessings of all the senior members of the profession, Mr. P.D. Dalal, who is the first CA from Dhule. And of course, excellent music, Maharashtrian soldiers, Mawala standing here. And the entire atmosphere is so positive, it's fully charged with a lot of positive vibrations. And of course, all the managing committee members have given us excellent hospitality right from the time we landed at the railway station this morning. Friends, I'm so happy that today we have inaugurated a new branch premises at Dubai. We also launched the website. I can only say, friends, as a vice president of the institute, I'm extremely delighted. With these initial remarks, I'm extremely happy to say that C. Arunbhai Gujarati, former speaker of the Maharashtra Assembly and the former Minister of Finance has been kind enough to be with us this morning where we had breakfast at Mr. Praful Charjit's house. We had the opportunity of meeting Praful Charjit's parents. And friends, if Dule branch is a reality today, the entire credit should go to Mr. Praful Charjit. <laughs> the kind of enthusiasm he has shown, he is a member of the Executive Committee and the President and Vice President of the Ex-Official Member of the Executive Committee. He was very clear, he was extremely focused. He said Dule branch should have the branch. We, we have a justification as to why we need to have a branch was very passionate, very emotional, and all of us saw him speaking to all of you this morning. When Praful Bhai came up to the stage and talked to you about his contribution, all the contributions from each one of you here, contribution of his parents, I remembered Sachin Tendulkar's farewell speech at the Vankare Stadium in Bombay a few weeks back, when he thanked almost everyone, right from his parents, his, his teachers, you know, his coach, his father-in-law, his wife, and Praful has done the same thing today, has thanked all of you. Thanks to, thanks to you, Mr. Praful, you've done an excellent job, you've been a great council member. And you can see a lot of action coming from Praful's side. He will not allow Dole branch to just keep quiet. He's already told me, Raghuji, we are applying for a piece of land. We would want your help to see that because it's a beautiful building. I have just assured him, Prafulji, you can just go ahead. I can assure you as a vice president of the institute, we will completely fund the entire building project for the construction of I am very confident that Praful Bhai, having seen his hard work, dedication, he will see that your branch will have a building as soon as possible. Mr. Zavre Saab, senior member of the council, extremely talented, serving for the profession, the kind of popularity I have seen in, in Mr. Zavre whenever I travel to Pune and various other parts of Maharashtra. He only enticed me with one thing, Raghu, have you been to interior Maharashtra? I said, no sir, I have not travelled to interior Maharashtra. Then you should come to Maharashtra. It's a great opportunity for you to meet the members of Maharashtra. Thanks to Mr. Zavaji. We saw the wonderful uh, ranges right from the time yesterday when we drew from Pune to Satara and from here. And I can say all of you are lucky to live in such a beautiful, you know, sort of a scenic beauty. Mr. Niresh Vikram Se, son-in-law of Dule. Yes, we have Bharti here, been a strong pillar for Nilesh. Nilesh also in Calcutta, when I was telling him, Nilesh, I'm not very sure. No, Raghu, you have to come. 
you please make it a point to come to Dule and he said he is from this place. So when we have Prafil charges son of the soil and when we have Nile Shikam say son-in-law of the Dule and then two council members are from this place, I don't think any president or vice president can offer to take a chance not to come. <laughs> That's how I'm here. I'm extremely happy to be amongst all of you uh, today, friends. Mr. Manoj Fadnis done a lot of job on the IFRS implementation very shortly. You will have the IFRS regime coming in India, maybe 2015 could be a date. You have given a revised roadmap to the Ministry of Corporate Affairs and he has put in a lot of hard work. And today, if India is IFRS compliant, a lot of credit should go to Manoj Fadnis, the kind of effort he has put in. I have worked with him in the Accounting Standards Board, the kind of robust standard setting process what we have. Manoj has done an excellent job. I supported him in the e-learning initiative of the IFRS and I am sure in the years to come we will have a lot more action from Mr. Manoj Fadnes. Mr. Mangesh Kinare is always a favourite chairman for me among all the five regional chairmen. Western region is something you know doing extremely well, a very vibrant region and as the vice president of the institute you kind of monitor what each region is doing and let me tell you friends, Western region is the most active region in the country. I come from Bangalore, I come from the southern region, I have travelled across the country, travelled to more than 75 to 80 branches. The kind of enthusiasm, the kind of, uh, uh, what do you say, effort that is being put in by the WIRC, its team, the entire team of regional council members who have come along with us. I can compliment each one of them, they have done an excellent job. My compliments to all the regional council members, Parati, Sunilji, Sharkulcha, Girish, then Mr. Mundada, for the good work that they are doing. I would also like to recognize the presence of Mr. Mehta, Additional Commissioner of Income Tax. We work very closely with the Income Tax Department. The CPC which is at Bangalore is one thing that has transformed the way electronic filing of returns takes place in India. And the Institute of Child Accounts of India has played a very proactive role and when CPC wanted the support of the Institute, support of the membership to make e-filing e uh, you know, e successful, we I had the opportunity of taking the entire CPC officials to almost about 20, 22 branches so that they interface with the members and try to sort out whatever issues are there. And we are very happy, Mehtaji, that you have come with your team of officials to grace this function. We seek your good wishes. <laughs> Friends, having said this, I can only say that the Institute of Child Accounts of India is the second largest accounting body in the world. We have a lot of invitees and guests. For their benefit, we have 2,30,000 child accountants. We have 10 lakh students, we have 138 branches, 22 foreign chapters and 5 regional councils, a fast growing institute, most popular profession today. I can tell you very frankly, when our uh, Arun Bhai Gujarati said, yes, a lot of uh, donations you need to pay for getting a medical seat, an engineering seat. I come from a state in Karnataka which is having so many engineering colleges, so many medical colleges. We have the whole of the students coming to Karnataka for the seats there. I can only tell you is that our course is the most affordable course and a classic example is that of Prema Jayakumar, the daughter of an auto rickshaw driver in Mumbai who joined the course just because her father said I will be able to afford the fees for what for, for, for she had to pay for the CA course just about 25,000 rupees. Today she got the first rank sir, uh, our chief guest sir, she got the first rank in CA final and she has job offers from various corporates across the country. That is a kind of transformation the Chartered Accountancy examination can bring about in a student and now she's a very successful student and when I went up to her at, at the international conference last year when we felicitated her, we asked her what motivated you to do CA. I asked Prema, Prema said, sir, my father is an auto rickshaw driver, all along I have seen him working very hard in Mumbai, earning a livelihood. I thought I should bring about a transformation in my family and when I read about the CA course, the kind of job opportunity, I thought I should uh, take up the CA course. And having, job, having passed a CA course today, I'm having many job offers. My only desire is that I want my father to retire as an auto rickshaw driver. I want him to enjoy his life. That is the kind of passion all the students present here should have. You should emulate from Prema Jayakumar. Prema Jai she never had an opportunity to have a good reading space. She said, sir, I would request you to please set up reading halls across the country. It was Prema Jayakumar who motivated us to set up reading halls across the country. We have taken up an ambitious task of putting up 100 reading halls across the country because in the southern region, friends, whenever we travel to any of our branches, reading halls is, is there available in all the branches. I thought, why don't we replicate it here? We discussed in the council, the council approved it. And I'm very happy to inform you that more than 30 reading halls have come, come across the country. We want to scale it up to 100. 
Our intention is to see that the young students can come to the institute, prepare for the examinations and write well. Having said this, economy is doing well. Indian economy is the happening economy. Yes, there's a downturn in the US, slowly it's picking up, turmoil in the European Union. But as far as China and India is concerned, a lot of developments are taking place. We are all fortunate to be in a happening economy in India. Of course, we had some issues on the fluctuating rupee which has been addressed too. But by and large, there's a lot of development taking place in the economy. You have new generation sectors opening up. But chartered accountants are found almost everywhere. In a city like Bangalore where I come from, a company like Infosys has more than 700 CAs. A company like Infosys has got about 600 CAs. You find chartered accountants in the IT sector, infrastructure sector, retail sector, financial sector, manufacturing sector, name the sector and you find chartered accountants. So, Ms. Arun, uh, I am very happy to say that the kind of popularity we have, not only in India, abroad also. Today, an average CA can earn about 6 to 7 lakh rupees. That is the kind of pay packages that are being offered to young CAs today. When you go abroad, when you go to a place like Abu Dhabi, go to a place like Dubai, Bahrain, Kuwait, the pay package is three times that of what a CA can earn in India. Australia is another big area where a lot of CAs are going. We recently opened a chapter in Spain. And a chartered accountant in Australia earns about 1 lakh Australian dollars. That's a lot of money. Excellent working conditions, very rich lifestyle, and a very smart package. That is the reason we find a lot of youngsters going to Australia. We have a chapter in Sydney, we have a chapter in Melbourne, we have a chapter in Brisbane. <coughs> then Singapore is the third area where there is a lot of activity happening. We have just 200 CA, but today we have more than 1,500 CA in Singapore. So we have identified certain segments where our Indian CA is in great demand. We are trying to support the young professionals to go there to see that they are able to explore global careers. And as our chief guest very rightly said, today our CA brand is a global brand. When I qualified my CA in 1990, CA was not a global brand, but today, chartered accountants, Indian chartered accountants are popular across the world. Friends, the institute has been playing an excellent role. We have been working with the regulators very closely. We are working with the Ministry of Corporate Affairs. We are taking up the cause of the investor. We have taken up the mandate of conducting more than 1,000 investors awareness programs this year. We are working closely with the Ministry of Finance, presenting the pre-budget memorandum, post-budget memorandum. We are also helping them in the new legislation like the direct tax code, GST framework that is coming up shortly and we are trying to do our best to see how best as a profession we can support the government. And I can only say that yes, the Ministry of Finance, Ministry of Corporate Affairs have all praise for the Institute. The Reserve Bank of India, we are very closely working with the Reserve Bank of India, the kind of opportunity we are looking at for the members, not only statutory settle audit and bank branch audit, way forward you will find a lot of opportunities for chartered account in risk based audit and also in forensic audit because the Reserve Bank of India has taken a decision to see that this uh, forensic audit is used for selective uh, borrow accounts where, there, where it has become a harm for uh, LP account. We are also working with SEBI, our Dinesh Vikram is the chairman of a committee in SEBI which looks into the comments of the auditors in the audit reports. Working with IRDA, we see a huge opportunity for chartered account in the insurance space and in a city like Bombay, we have a lot of chartered account in the insurance space. We see a huge potential for chartered account in the insurance space. We are very closely working with also. For the students here who are present here, my only message to you is very simple. As our chief guest very rightly said, you need to put in a lot of hard work. CA is a very tough course. It will continue to be tough. This is what the message I would like to state as the vice president of the institute. We have a very robust examination system, one of the best in the world. The examination of course is very tough and many students come up to me and say, Mr. Rabu, the pass percentage is very low. 10% is something not acceptable. You need to at least improve to 30%, 40%. Only one thing I can assure all my friends sitting here, please ensure that just going to tuitions, just going to coaching classes would not help you. You need to prepare from the study material that we are providing to you, the revision class papers, the suggested answer, the e-learning courses that have been launched recently for the benefit of all the students. Please prepare from all the materials given to you because in our long distance program, what is very important is that the material provided by the institute is very important and critical. If you put in a lot of hard work, I can assure you it will be very easy for you to pass the CA examination. It is not at all difficult. So, very important for you to work hard. Number two, take your practical training seriously. You might be working in a small firm in Dule. Your principal might have exposure only in the area of indirect taxes, direct taxes and audit. Don't worry. What is very important is to get a good exposure to various aspects of either direct taxes, indirect taxes, audit. And that will be very helpful to be 
for you to be successful in your career as a child accountant, even if you are whether you are in practice or industry. GMCS is very important. Communication skills are very critical because once you become chartered accountants, you need to make presentation to the board. You need to make presentations to the investors. GMCS is critical. Now we have made GMCS one and GMCS two. Then we also introduce technology training because we cannot live with technology today. You walk into a bank, everything is under CBS. You go to a company, everything is under ERP environment. You go to any MNC, everything is in the cloud. So you need to audit it. You need to know how to audit in a CBS environment. You need to know how to audit in a ERP environment. You need to know how to audit in a cloud computing environment. A lot of changes are there. We have built in a very good technology training program for all of you. ITT2 is being launched shortly so that you get an exposure to all these areas. And as far as the two initiatives which we have taken, I would like to compliment all the members of the council for the support they extended. The gap between examinations would continue, and the 15 minutes time that is being given to you before attempting the question paper is also would continue. These are two student-friendly initiatives which we would like to continue, and I'm sure we will look for a lot more suggestions from you. But only one thing, friends, as our guest very rightly said, there's a lot of responsibility given to us. So, society not comply with CPE. Your names will be hosted on the website, and our records speak that many, many members have not, more than 40% of the membership have not completed the CP requirements. We have been sending letters from the CP committee. I urge each and every member present here, please don't get into any embarrassment because this website will be available for, you know, regulators to see. Ensure that you comply with the CP requirements. The council has taken a decision that yes, we will be strict from now onwards. I would request you to please complete your CP. Companies Act, there are some concerns on audit rotation, number of audits to be done on National Financial Reporting Authority. I will not go into all these details, but yes, the council group has met three times. We have decided and we have made representations to the Ministry of Corporate Affairs that we are not okay with audit rotation for small companies, private limited companies and companies, one person companies. We have said the number of audits for each chartered accountant should also be kept away for small companies and the private limited companies and one person companies. As far as NAFRA is concerned, we have also given our suggestions that National Financial Reporting Authority they not look into, can look into the dispute uh, issues of members who are auditors of large listed companies. We have given a lot of suggestions. I hope they are considered. And for all the members in Dule, not sufficient for you to be just in audit and taxation. You need to move into newer areas. You could get into technology consulting. It could be anything, international taxation. My only request to you is that, but yes, you can't expect clients from Dule to come to you for international taxation. You should be ready to fly down to Bombay and service a client in Bombay. You should be ready to go to Bangalore and see that you are able to offer your services. So today, sitting here in Dule, you can offer your services to a client situated wherever in the world. So my message to each one of you is that you need to get into new areas and that is when your practice can grow. You need to have good infrastructure. As council members, we travel across the region. When I come from the southern region, we travel across the region. One thing which I find is that our members need to invest in good office infrastructure. You need to have a smart office, you need to have a good boardroom, you need to have a good cabin, good working uh, workstations for your staff. Invest in good technology and that will make a big difference. My request to all the small and medium practitioners is that our small and medium practitioners are extremely possible. I've seen a cross section of the small and medium practitioners. They have a beautiful house, they have a beautiful car, but when it comes to an office, they have a very, very ordinary office. So my message to all of you is that yes, we need to have smart infrastructure. You need to go for mer merging of firms are very important. Networking is important. You need to network with CA firms across the country, maybe in Bombay, Delhi. And of course, finally, what is important is that you need to invest in technology. My request to all of you is that involved in the activities of the institute, we as regional council members, central council members, president, vice president, put in our best effort to serve the institute. But what I request all the members present here is that how best you can contribute to the institute. Ours is a large family of 2,20,000 child accountants. Each one of you come up to the institute and say, yes, I would like to offer my service. It could be research projects. Our chief guest talked about the fact that the institute should take a lead in research projects. We lead in publications. I fully agree with him. It is members like you should volunteer and say, Mr. Raghu, we are ready to do this research project. Mr. Raghu, we are ready to author these publications. Mr. Raghu, we are ready to give articles for the journal. This is what we expect from you. You can be a peer reviewer, you can be a technical reviewer, you can be a part of the examination system, you can be a faculty member in a GMCS, ITT. So many options are there. You should just walk up to our regional council members, central council members and tell them that yes, can you use our services. With these uh, few uh, friends, uh, I would request you to please give your suggestions. Your suggestions can be sent to me at vicepresidentica.org. I can only assure you, I will put all my energies at my command. Put in all my energy to see that what best I can do for the profession. Finally, I thank the chairman of the Dule branch, Mr. Lokendra Mundade, 
my compliments to you, sir. Today he is the bridegroom. I can say today I was just telling him, sir, you spoke so well, and I'm very very much thankful to the entire team. Anil Gujarati, Vice Chairman, Rajaram Kulkarni, Secretary, Vishnu Agarwal, Treasurer, Jayesh Gaud, Member, and Pawan Agarwal, Member. I wish them good luck. I wish Dole Branch good luck. And on behalf of the Council of the Institute of Chartered Accounts of India, I am so happy to see that this branch is being inaugurated today. Thank you very much.